this is a uh, 0 to 40 volts 0 to 2 amps power supply and uh, it's uh, all regulated and uh, yeah supposedly it doesn't work because it was sold as not working uh, condition so those are two 10 turn knobs look at that so those two just uh, uh, worth more than I paid for all this stuff so yeah really huge score so here we go on the back we have oh that's, that's heavy um, we have a standard plug which is great a voltage selector here and a fuse fuse holder that's let's see I think it's good oh that's quite an interesting fuse um Alright, and uh, I don't know what's that. The thing is uh, for uh, external um, external ports, so you can actually regulate the output uh, externally, which is great. I mean, so maybe it's designed to go uh, for a system power supply thing. So yeah, let's uh, actually open this up and see what's inside. So here is the inside of this unit. Well, you can actually see we, there is. Uh, it's actually properly done. Look at that. It's properly crimped. All the wires and are properly crimped. Those are. This is the transformer inside because there is a huge linear transformer as you expect actually. And uh, there's a little board which is the regulation board. Uh, there is a aluminium thing here that's uh, holding the structure together and it works as a heat sink. So if you take a look inside you can actually see some top quality burns, tin turns, pots. Uh, so here we go. Uh, there's all the usual stuff in power supplies. So huge bridge rectifier and it's a little bit burnt but I mean yeah it's been used quite a lot. Quite big uh literally caps and ooh that's that's crusty. That are uh forty seven hundred microfarads each, twenty five volts, really good. And uh, we have three of those in Apparently they are in series or whatever. Yes, I think they are in series. Those are two um, NPN transistors. The 2N1711 over here we have two very interesting uh, TO5 uh, package um, operational amplifiers. Those are SFC 2741M. And as power transistors, we have classic 2N3055s from RCA in a TO3 package, obviously. So, will this thing work? I don't know. There is only one way to find out. So I'm going to connect it to my isolation transformer and uh, try it out. So let's uh, switch it on. Alright. It's making some noise, so apparently... Alright, let's uh we have life. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh, we have <laughs> the meter is a little bit uh oop it blocks there. But we have some voltage. Alright, perfect. So let's see. Voltage let's crank it up. Oh yeah, I have to set the current first. Oh jeez, it works. Full 40 volts, 41.9. Oh, doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. So we have some kind of problem with maybe with the switch. So let's. Uh, oh, the 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 voltmeter here, the little uh, this uh, the needle is stuck. So, oh, that's a uh, that's a quite a problem. Maybe it's the wires or, or no, it's uh, it's the contact. 
So the meter actually works. It's stuck somewhere here. All right. But I think it's uh, only the uh, the little switch here that's uh, not making a good good contact. And increase a little bit the voltage. Let's go to amp. Increase the amps a little bit. Oh, it does work. So let's go to 0.5 amps. Let's go to one amp. That's uh, working perfectly. So yeah, sorry. Uh, this won't be a repair video, I'm just going to clean it up.